Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Mass key skill video on determining the coordinate of the x or y intercept of a straight line given its equation. Now what do I mean by the x intercept or the y intercept of a line? Well let's just say I've got x and y axis here and let's just say that I had a line with a particular equation. Now this point here is where my line cuts the y-axis. You can see that this line is hitting, it's cutting the y-axis. So this is known as the y-intercept. And let's think about the coordinate here. Well, we don't know what the y-coordinate is, but can we see that the x-value here is zero? Across the x-axis, here, the x-value is zero. So when you want the y-intercept, x is zero, and this point here is where this line cuts the x-axis. So this is known as the x-intercept. And if we think about the coordinate of this point, well, we don't know what the x-value is. We don't know how far along with the x-axis we are. But we do know that the y-value here is guaranteed to be 0. So that's a bit confusing. When you want the y-intercept, you make x zero, and when you want the x-intercept, you make y equal to zero. So it's like the opposite. So let's use that for this equation here. We've got y equals 2x plus 6. Let's find where it hits the x-axis. Now we said over here that when we want the x-intercept, we make y equal to zero. So if we do that in equation, so we do that in this equation, we substitute y for 0, we get 0 equals 2x plus 6, and then we just need to solve that. So we want to get x on its own, it's been multiplied by 2, then it's, we've added 6 to it, so we get rid of the plus 6 by subtracting 6 from both sides of the equation. So 0 minus 6 is minus 6. Minus 6, subtracting 6 here gets rid of the plus 6, leaving 2x. Then we divide both sides by 2 to get rid of that 2 there. So we get minus 3 equals x. So we know, therefore, it cuts the x-axis when x is minus 3. And if we turn that into a coordinate, well, the x-value is minus 3, and the y-value, we said, was 0. Now, there's two common errors that students make. Where they're trying to find the x-intercept, where the line cuts the x-axis, they make x0 rather than y0. And the other mistake they make is that they get this far to say that x is minus 3, and they accidentally put the minus 3 in the y position and not the x position. So that's another common error. So what about the y-intercept, where it cuts the y-axis? Well, we said over here, when we're on the y-intercept, x is 0. So if we substitute x as 0 into this equation, we have y is equal to 2 times 0. 2x means 2 lots of x, so 2 times 0 plus 6. Now, 2 times 0 is 0, plus 6 is 6, and we get 6. Now, if you're familiar with the idea of y equals mx plus c, do you remember y equals mx plus c? The c here, the 6, is by definition the y-intercept. So it's not a surprise that we've got 6. But if that confused you, just kind of think about what we've done on the page here. So let's turn that into a coordinate. The x value said was 0, so x is 0, and the y value is 6. And that's the final answer.